Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom Om Swastiastu Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua Good morning Mr. Hasan Good morning everyone So in this presentation We are going to tell you about The similarities and the differences About eating problems And personality disorders But before that Let me introduce the member of the group A So the member of the group A There are me, Niputu Gita Indah Cahyani, Niputu Ananda Karistai Swari, Nikta Roshida Nurul Izati, Nabila Widi Permatasari, Nabila Putri Dwi Janati, and Lulu Hanafia Firdaus. So, let me open this presentation with a very interesting quote that says, There is no health without mental health. We adopt this quote from the World Health Organization which give us an understanding that mental health is as important as physical health. So today, we're going to explain the similarities and the differences about eating problems and personality disorders. About the eating problems are any relationship with food that you find difficult. And about the personality disorder is the way of thinking feeling and behaving that deviates from expectation of the culture. So this presentation will be in four parts. First, we'll talk about the symptoms. Second, about the causes. Third, about the treatment. And last, the conclusion. We believe that our information about mental health problem, in this case, eating problem and personality disorder will be very beneficial for every one of you. So now, we move to the point of this presentation. We'll talk about the symptoms of eating problem. If you have an eating problem, there are many ways it can affect how you feel or behave. The way you eat and how you think about food may be the most obvious events. You may feel low and anxious tired much of the time, shame or guilt, fear that other people will find out about this, and the symptoms of personality disorder will be explained by Nala. Yeah, moving to the next point, I'm gonna talk about uh, symptoms of personality disorder. Mm, as stated before, the symptoms of eating disorder, unlike eating disorder, personality disorder have these symptoms. If you experience personality disorder, it will affect the way you think, feel, and behave, causes you significant problems in daily life. You will experience these problems across different aspects of your life. These problems continue for a long time. These problems are not solely caused by substance or medical condition. From the symptoms of eating problems and personality disorders, we know that the similarities both disorders can make sufferers feel anxious about themselves. For example, people eating disorders feel anxious when they are in situations that involve a certain kind of food that contains calories, while people with personality disorder, in this case, obsessive compulsive personality disorder or OCPD, can feel anxious when they are talking foods that contains calories since they are bound to their own rules about calorie count. For the next topic, I'm gonna mention about differences between symptoms of eating disorder and personality, dis personality disorder. And for symptoms of personal F for eating disorders, the relationship with food and eating starts to affect your life. How much you weight or what your body or what your body looks like doesn't matter. In other hand, symptoms of personality disorder are suspicious, emotional and impulsive, anxious. Now, I'd like to move on to the next part about the causes of eating problems and personality disorder. So, eating problems can be caused by various things such as difficult life experience, family issue, social pressure, physical and mental health problems, biological and genetic factor, and the last is trigger or at risk time. And then, the causes of personality disorder will be explained by Nanda. So, this is my turn to tell you guys about causes of personality disorder. 
So personality disorder can be caused by first, environment and social circumstances, second, early life experiences, and the last is genetic factors. Okay, based on the causes of eating problem and personality disorder, we know that the similarities are both caused by genetic factors, social pressure, and difficult life experience. The differences between causes of eating disorder and personality disorder are eating disorders can be caused by other mental disorders, but personality disorders are not caused by mental disorder. Okay, I will explain about the treatment. If you have an eating problem, you can do this treatment, such as talking to people you trust, seeking peer support, you can learn how to manage a re-enagement, changing unhealthy habits, be careful online, and looking after yourself. That's for eating problem and then move to treatments for a person disorder. First, psychotherapy. Then medication or antidepressant, mood stabilizer, anti-anxiety medication, then hospital and residential treatment programs, talking therapies, and therapeutic communities. Okay, based on the treatment of eating problem and personality disorder, we know that the similarities are both disorders can be treated by integrating with other people. Eating problems can be treated by talking to people you trust and the treatment of personality disorders can be done with talking therapies. And the difference is, the difference between treatment of eating problem and personality disorder is that treatment of eating problem can be done by yourself such as changing unhealthy habits and be careful online. While the treatment of personality disorder usually requires more medical assistance such as doing therapy and medication. And finally, we know that conclusion is eating problems and personality disorder are often underestimated by many people. So, this mental illness can cause various other mental illness. By knowing the symptom and also how to get a good treatment, it is hoped that all readers will be able to recognize this disease and come to the expert for help. So, that's all about our presentation about eating problems and personality disorders we hope that you find some more information about mental health so once again we remind you about there is no health without mental health so we close with wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh shalom om santi 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 om